Hey, plant peeps, what's up? Welcome back to another video from here, but not. Uh, today, I'm gonna do uh, a different type of unboxing video. Uh, I got a new light from a company called Fluence out of the US down in Texas, I think is where they are. Um, so I wanna open that up. I've been waiting since before Christmas and I am very excited to get it set up. Uh, if you're new here, I'm Dustin, your plant guide. Uh, I have a blog here, but not.com and I write about orchids and plant care and growing them indoors under LEDs and whatnot so that I can help others uh, achieve success with their plants like I have with mine. So uh, check out the blog if you haven't yet, here, but not.com. With that, let's continue on. This is my old setup behind me. I'm just going to be replacing the light at the top here. The reason that I got the, the Fluence uh, new strip light is that it's about three times the power or output um, as the existing light. So my hope is that I can get some of these plants like the, the Vandas and stuff to do a little better. This one is blooming currently, but it's not got a lot of buds on the go. Um, and I've noticed, I've been noticing that some of the leaves on these plants are, uh, a little darker than I would want them to be. And so, uh, before Christmas, I was like, you know, I, I should try and see if I can bump the light up to get some of these others that haven't bloomed to bloom. So with that, let's go into the living room and uh, I'll bust out the box. All right, so the, the product that I got is a 66 inch uh, Ray LED light. The reason I got it is because it's longer than the other LEDs that I have. And as you saw in my bedroom, it kind of goes, uh, the plants are now like spilling out to the edges. And so I would rather have a single strip light rather than trying to stack up a bunch and make it look a little bit more messy than it is. I know that it doesn't look super aesthetic right now, but my goal is to make um, that area look, look a little bit more pleasing. And that starts with, from my perspective, a single strip light. So um, let's get this puppy open and see what it looks like. So the reason that I, like I said, I, I got this light because it's got a lot more output, but um, Fluence is also a, a brand that does uh, LED lights for cannabis growth. And uh, I think that the cannabis industry has had probably the most uh, money put into research and design on, on grow lights. And uh, looking at the spectrum of these lights after testing a bunch of others, uh, this is their indoor grow light, and it seemed to fit what I felt would be the best for for the orchids that were that I'm trying to grow. There's a couple things to account for when when we're looking at LED grow lights. One of them is is the efficiency of the bulb, and the Fluence bulbs or diodes, sorry, uh, t seem to be a lot more efficient than than other brands that I've purchased previously, and so that was a, a pretty important factor as well as the spectrum and the total output per square meter. Um, my goal is not to have this sit directly on the plants. I wanna have it lift up a bit and, and look nice. So I went a little bit over with the intensity in the hopes that it becomes like uh, an aesthetically pleasing setup. I, I do wanna just make sure that it's known. This was not endorsed or anything by Fluence. Uh, and this isn't necessarily a review yet. I wanna set the light up and what I'll do is in a probably a few months kind of report back or you'll see it in some of my videos whether or not they're doing well or not or I'll do an update at that point. But I did pay for these out of pocket. They cost me about $350 plus shipping. Uh, that's US, pretty expensive for a light for growing plants. But the amount of money that I've spent on my collection, it's it only makes sense to make sure that I'm also providing that uh, investment in in like their care and growth so I'm not recommending that other people buy these lights by any stretch but it's I have the YouTube channel and the blog and so some of that stuff is research and exploring like do these things actually work I'm you know a premium LED that costs three hundred dollars versus I think most of us are probably used to spending about a hundred or hundred and fifty dollars what is the difference in growth and value um, and is it even worth other serious growers spending this much money on a light like this. So not endorsed, 
has nothing to do with that. It's just personal curiosity. One thing that's different about the Fluence LEDs is that they have a ballast or driver. Um, I think that has to do with the efficiency of the light itself. Typically these bar lights you don't have um, with something like this. So the setup of this is probably a little less nice, but I'll be able to hide that. And it doesn't produce too much heat compared to um, like metal halide or high, high output non-LED lights. With the LEDs, when you're taking them out and moving them around, you don't want to touch the actual diodes or the bulbs. I've heard that the oils on your skin can cause some problems, so just be careful when you have your own bulbs, if they're exposed like this, not to be touching that bottom um, section where the actual diodes are. Bye. Just gonna figure out how I can set this thing up and then... The light connects to the ballast through an input piece here. This is the ballast, and then you plug it in. There's an extra spot for, I think, connecting other lights and or uh, you can, they have a dimmer option that you can buy for like 100 bucks. I didn't buy that. My intention is just to raise it higher or lower to the plants, but maybe I'll end up purchasing the, the dimmer later on. So uh, let's plug this in and see what it looks like. So I plugged it in, it takes a bit to charge up and it's pretty bright. So what I'll do now is take this into the bedroom, set it up and, uh, and we'll see how it goes. You can see that there's some uh, red strips in there. I don't want to stare directly at this just because I don't think that's safe for your eyes. So I'll take you into the bedroom. We'll set this thing up and uh, see how it looks and do kind of like a before and after comparison of brightness and, and then go from there. So I'll start by uh, unhinging the old light and uh, I'm, my intention is initially just to, to, to set it at the same height and then move it up from there. Um, but we'll see how that goes. So the existing light was hanging just from wires and a couple clips that are attached to actually a shower rod. So I just have to remove these and then reattach them to the new light, which is actually not too bad for uh, directly replacing the old system. So that looks not too bad. It uh, is a little slanted, obviously. I need to raise it up a bit higher. Um, which should be easy enough. Do it a little higher just so that uh, with the adjustment period you don't want to have um, you don't want to have any leaves too close because you could burn them. If, you, if you're tripling or doubling the intensity it makes it really easy to, to scorch leaves. So you kind of want to do it gradually. So the lights up. Uh, time for the moment of truth. <laughs> Sweet, that is very bright. So that's definitely a lot more white um, than the previous light, which had more of like a, a yellow hue to it. Uh, I'll probably move it up a little bit higher just so that I don't have leaf burn on ones like this that are still quite close, like that's under a foot. And that's a, probably gonna be okay, but I wanna make sure that, uh, that I give it, you know, uh, an adjustment period where I slowly lower the light down rather than having it so close to the light so quickly, especially for some of these aeroids that are um, right up close to that. And you can kind of tell if a light is working or if it's too intense by how the leaves look. If they're a dark green, they tend to be, um, that's showing signs that they need more light. And if they start getting mottling or yellowing, then it's potentially too much light. Um, so we'll see how some of these go. These lights are also on a timer, so they only go on after sun, the sun passes over the roof, so they're not on all the time. Uh, the intention here is just to try and, you know, up, up the intensity and the brightness so that I can get some of these other flowers to bloom. And of course, so I can get more flowers like the Phragmopedium kabakii, which by the way is just shy of six inches now. It's uh, 15 millimeters or centimeters, I think try and do in front of the light, but you can kind of see if I put in behind here and go edge to edge, uh, we're just, what's going on here? Edge to edge, come on. This is not easy to do with one hand to hold a camera and this. Anyway, so that's where the, the edge of it sits. So it's literally right at the six inch mark. And that's that's because I had said in the back of the Kabake video, they uh, continue to open 
uh, after the flower initially opens and the, the petals continue ex to expand. So anyways, I, th I think that the lights, like that's pretty good. Uh, it's very bright. We'll see how it goes over the next uh, few days and, and I'll adjust the light as necessary. It's definitely a lot more blue than I was expecting. This is the indoor spectrum, which is heavier in the red light. I don't care so about the color so much as I care about like the value for the plants and if the plants are actually growing and, and getting bigger and whatnot. So um, we'll see how this goes. It looks pretty good. Uh, it's quite bright. So <laughs> Suede, are you checking out the old light? Yeah, it's a good kitty. <laughs> You're wet. He, he likes to drink water from the tap, which is annoying, but all good. And you get your dumb tongue out. Yeah, good kitty. Cool, so uh, that was it for this video. It was a little bit choppy. I didn't have a plan for it. I've never done an unboxing. And I, I to be honest, I'm not a big fan of like plant unboxings because because it's like really just not that interesting to me to watch somebody open their plants, who cares? Maybe that's the same with the light. Um, the point with the light is that uh, I wanted to share some information about light and why I purchased you know, a premium light, uh, do the setup, show it quick. And then also, if, if you're looking to learn about LED lights and grow lights for your plant, I've created a post on, on my blog here, but not.com. Uh, really, the object, or the thing that I want you to take away from that is that there are a few methods and ways of, of like assessing an LED. You don't necessarily have to spend 350 bucks on a new LED. The old ones that I had were 150, I think, or 160 Canadian. Um, so probably about 120 American. And they were, they were really good. Uh, they, they obviously were enough to get my uh, uh, Fragmapedium cavaki to bloom as well as um, one of my Vandas and stuff. But what I wanted to do is push the light a, a little bit higher because I still have a few that uh, I've been growing for a couple of years that haven't bloomed. There's a Fragmapedium cavaki by uh, Willisii, which is Andine Tears supposed to be beautiful flowers that are long and really cool but very difficult to bloom and i think that comes down to light so i'm increasing the light in the hopes that i can get more flowers more growth etc etc so other than that uh check out the blog if you're looking to know more about led lights like i said i put together a post on that and i think that it's it covers the details that this video definitely did not this is more to be like benchmark bought a new light let's see how it actually performs and uh I, I will be doing micro adjustments uh, as time goes on. So thanks for taking along. I will be doing an update video at some point because as you can see, some of these plants are a lot bigger. Uh, the phil philodendron melanochrysum is gigantic at this point, uh, as are a few of my other plants that in previous videos were much smaller. Um, so I'm, I'm past due to do an update video on just, just most of the plants in general. So again, thanks, thanks for taking along and we'll see you soon. Ciao. Bye. Ugh, good thing I got this on camera.